Well, the statistics are startling. One in seven men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer, and for years the treatment options have been tough to deal with with lasting side effects. Dr. Andrew Strang of Urology Centers of Alabama joins us to explain a new procedure that is very encouraging for those men who are suffering from prostate cancer. Good to see you this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk about this new procedure. First of all, how new is it? Well, it's been used overseas and in Canada for the past 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. but it's only been FDA approved in the United States for the past nine months. Okay, so this is a groundbreaking new pr procedure. How so and how is it different from really the, the old procedures? It offers focal therapy, which we've never been able to do before. With prostate cancer, men have basically been given two, two choices, active treatment, which involves treatment of the entire prostate gland, or active surveillance. With this, with MRI imaging, we're able to target the cancer and treat it effectively, but spare the rest of the prostate. Okay. When you do that, you minimize side effects. And that's that's the big deal with prostate cancer treatment. How encouraging has it been, though, for, for patients who have actually gone through this? It's been great. It's been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, now, the, I also do want to talk to you a little bit about prevention as well. Uh, we hear a lot about the PSAs, mm -hmm. and I guess there's a mixed message getting out about there. Men who get checked every year for the, when their doctor is, all I got to do is worry about the PSA. So, so talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so you still need to do the exam, digital rectal exam, along with the blood work. We usually advise people to get a PSA at the age of 40. Mm -hmm. If that's normal, get another one at 45. And then starting annually at 50, between the ages of 50 and 70 usually, an annual exam, and then the, the blood work as well, PSA blood work. Okay, because so, we know that's not a fun thing, obviously. For, no. for, it's not fun for the urologist <laughs> either, but, but you need to get it done. Yeah. Um, and and you, you mentioned early, too, because you know, men don't realize how early they need to start getting this checked by the doctor, and really, um, you know, as you mentioned earlier, it's 40. Um, and, but is that true for men of all, gen I mean, you know, of all races? Uh, well, no. The risk factor is African-Americans and also men with a first-degree relative, so a father or brother. Uh, but yeah, that's generally the guideline, 40, your first PSA, another one at 45, assuming those two are normal, then start at 50. Now, is this, uh, is this procedure available uh, across the state or just certain? Uh, no, just here. We've, uh, well, it's in, only here in Alabama, okay. so in Birmingham. So it, there are other centers throughout the country, but we partnered with Vitura Health, and they've uh, helped us bring a machine, uh, an ultrasound machine here to Birmingham. Wow. So we're going to be able to offer that. Well, I got to be honest. This is exciting stuff. My father is uh, dealing with this now. He lives in Florida, but uh, you know, for uh, for many of you men dealing with this, this is very, very encouraging news. So, Doctor, appreciate you coming oh, on. Oh yeah, absolutely. Share a little bit more about it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. All right.